Hello once again YouTube to Let's Play Final Fantasy V. This is your host, Billboard Plays. Um, now, I've done the grinding, I'm going to reset my equipment back to where it was and kind of explain um, kind of what the strategy is um, going to fight um, X stuff. Now we have two people at level um, 27. Um, they will be equipping um, reflect rings. While it will um, reduce their um, defenses, since XF is a very magic heavy person and reflect will reflect most attacks, um, it will effectively turn half of his hit all attacks back on him, so he's always dealing damage to himself, so we don't have to worry about that. Additionally, with um, um, XF, we'll be um, utilizing um, two people at level 29, Bulbor and Lena. Um, their primary job is just to keep up the damage, of course, uh, keep healing for Bulbor, keep up the damage for, um, Lena. And I will be casting Reflect on, um, x Def so I can, um, reflect some Protects onto, um, both, um, Ferris and, um, Krill. Since the, the enemy is reflecting too, they're quite good at um, fighting them. But we're just not going to bother with this entire mess. It's too much effort. Alright. Just keep moving. Um, we won't be taking any more stops. It's just flat out rush to the end. Um, actually we will, um, kill this enemy. Just cause. I mean, I really shouldn't just to make sure we stay at the proper level. But it's an easy amount of money. I'll restrain myself in the future. I should really know better. Not to... So again, like I said, this will be um, two boss battles. Um, we'll be going in to recruit Carbuncle since he is missable. And I don't want to do that. I like Carbuncle. Now we'll just keep trying to run away. Keep trying to run away. Heroga. And see, that's the advantage of them, is that they'll be reflecting stuff all the way back. While we keep trying to run away, this will take a bit. Don't know why it's taking forever just to do a simple run away order, finally. Um, magic, Bulbor, um, let's drop a Kiraga. Should I... Just drop two Kiras. Okay. Just keeping people at mostly top shape. We take some damage. Oh well, we can heal that. We can rebuild him. Um, no, the main goal is, of course, to get, have people get out. Krill needs some healing badly, so we'll go and drop a high potion on her. There's a secret um, passageway, or at least I swore there was. Apparently not. Oh well. We'll just move on the long way. Just keep running, just keep running. No one to deal with this. Okay, there we go. Confusion avoided, we'll get a free ether. Um, here's the sixth floor. We can just take the long way around and not have to go into the lava. The lava, of course, will deal damage unless you have a Geomancer, which clearly we do not have. So we'll just begin the runaway. 
Just keep running, just keep running, running, running for your life. I'll bring her back later. First goal is to get out alive. There we go, we're out. Raise. Um. Yeah, let's just drop a Kiriga and resolve everything. That item in the center is not worth it, so we'll just leave it be. No need to interact with what we don't need to. Simply fascinating. That slow really didn't matter though, but yes. It's very nice in case of spells like that. Um, we'll use high potions actually to keep healed up. It's a nice fair way. And it doesn't eat into my... Okay. Now we have to kill a jack and apes. These things are extremely lethal when you're first supposed to encounter them. Um, we'll just do nothing, uh, and let that happen. Fortunately, they provide no experience, so... And we get across. Easy. Here's the uh, actual checkpoint. I'm going to take advantage and drop a tent, um, and save here, so in case I mess up this next part, we don't have to worry too much. Um, Yellow Dragons, this is the, um, one of the chest enemies that we can encounter. Fortunately, we know exactly where we're going, so we're not going to stop for anything. Blue and Red Dragons, oh my. There's still a lot of dragons here, we're just going to ignore them and move on. Hello dragon that we're just going to run away from and never speak of. Or we're going to, well, oh, come on. Always the risk. Run through. Now we can't reach um, it through ordinary means, unfortunately. We have to go here. I believe it's center? Yes. But obviously I don't think that's the one we want. We want up here, since that will teleport us right in next to Carbuncle. Um, everyone's at full HP, so let's go talk to our good friend Carbuncle. I like Carbuncle. Unfortunately his gimmick is that he reflects spells off of himself. So we're going to, and he is essentially a boss fight. So we have to go all out and begin hurting him. Um, I'll re-equip my um, healing stave just to, to save on um, re recovery. Hmm. 
Thundera. Ouch. Strange that doesn't do as much. But, oh well. No damage to either side. Now we're going to start casting um, Shell because that's his primary attack type. And it's going to start um, giving our Reflect people Shell too. Meanwhile, we wonder why aren't we able to do anything? It's because we're really bad shot. And it allowed it through. Fortunately, Shell's useless for it since we do not have an offensive form of attack. I'm sorry, we do not have a non-magic. A... That kind of thing. Um... Let's, um, throw a Shell down on, um... Me, Bulborce, and some... He's key to our damage dealing plan. Fortunately, we can slowly weaken him. The only useless skill is Tempting Tango. And see, it's already paying off. That wasn't nearly as dangerous as it could have been. Of course, right after say that Tempting Tango is useless, I roll Tempting Tango. Goes to say, it's sometimes unwise to speak. Since the game listens. And it loves messing with players. Okay. Um, keep up the good work. Um, Mystery Waltz again. We'll go and throw a potion at your, you. Krill. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, magic is technically the only effective way to um, do anything to him. However, he is... Well, you see how effective um, magic would be against a guy who reflects. We're getting a lot of mystery waltzes. And a jitterbug, which is good. It handles the healing issues, so we can um, heal some of our own members. Yeah. So when he's reflecting spells off himself, um, we'll be um, reflecting. We'll be using him to um, do some other stuff, as in trying to get. Um, Shell on Krill. When that will happen, who knows? It's very random sometimes. And we get a sword stance. Always nice and helpful. He reflects a stop on Ferris. Okay. Ferris is going to be stopped for a while. However, it does mean we can throw a shell at him. Since he's bouncing spells. Oh no, he's starting to do this. Fortunately, we had a, a, a reflected spell hit Krill. And it was a status effect spell. And Ferris is back into action too. Uh -huh, Carbuncle isn't, again, it's... Something where I want to pick him up just because I like him. He's a very useful summon. Invalidate all the HP he healed. Eh, just defend. Absorb all of his HP. I couldn't tell for a moment that pause was like, oh, is it over? But no. He's, oh no. Oh, thank God. Banish can be a very annoying skill because he just 
kick someone out of the battle for the rest of the battle. Very annoying when it hits. Oh no, he threw a breakout. He's starting to get serious with his status spells. Fortunately, if he manages to break someone, we will be able to um, have them recover. And if this also reflects the fair, okay, so they're all gonna reflect the Ferris. Um, Lena shows why the Iga Shield is one of the best items in the game. Um, we'll reflect the Libra spell off to see um, the status. Uh, yeah, he's on his death bed. Just a few more solid hits will do him in. Yeah, hey, mystery waltz. And if I understand correctly, he's on his defense. Yeah, his recovery stage. Fortunately, he's finished. Um, we're deal. He's literally two more attacks from almost any source, and he's dead. If Lena hits, then we're done with this battle and can move on to the main attraction after saving. No need to waste time on Carbuncle again. We learned that with Chimera. Um, and we've... it happened. Banish happened. Seeing as you're reflecting, let's try a raise. Uh, death. Oh wait, we have Phoenix down, so what am I doing? Sorry, I was holding the idiot ball there. Let's Phoenix down Krill, because I very much would prefer sword stands, just in case he heals soon. Except the battle's already over. Um, now we've learned, of course, Carbuncle, the spell. Um, seeing as we're going to be running from nearly every battle... Run 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 I'm sorry, give me a moment. I probably won't do anything since no time units pass. We just gotta make it back to the save point. Okay, let's drop high potions. Okay, we have enough HP where we should be able to survive long enough to get back to um this healing the safe point with the newly collected summon. Now's the time we run away, and now Krill is dead. Isn't it always happy when this happens? Fortunately, nothing can stop us now. This is a safe zone. So we'll go, use a tent. And there you have it. We are now all back up the full. And after a quick save, not a quick save, but a quick save. Um, let's double save, just to be safe. Now we will go and take on X Def. Now if my strategy works, which it probably will, then X Def is a sitting duck. That's of course assuming it works. If it doesn't, then... Well, we'll have to work around it.
Let's take the hits. We can use Kiraga. So I, well, Kira, then a Kira. Then a General Kira. Now everyone has enough HP. Carbuncle, of course, is an easy summon to get your hands on. And of the, quote, secret summons, unquote, this is the easiest one to recruit. So, we'll try running away. Don't have, but... Okay, time to use my items. I love you items. Bulbor, we'll just drop a general cure. Everyone's at full HP. Hopefully we don't, won't take any more damage. Just need to maneuver here, and the final save point. You can kind of tell where it's a, now's the time to be X death the first time. Okay, joking. We have one more person. This is a fight we need to do because it will allow us to ignore a fight later on. Sad day. Gilgamesh. Yeah, Gilgamesh got us there. And we'll have to work on getting... Oh no, Lena's level has been halved. Effective, the start of this battle. Dance! Dance for your life! And yeah, this is the final fight, quote-unquote, with Gilgamesh. Um, we will encounter him again. But, and if we were a thief, we would be stealing Genji gear right now. But we don't really have a thief, nor do we have the thief's dagger. And he can afflict mass blindness. Major goal, get protect on any, everyone. If this means Gilgamesh will have to become reflect a little bit, fine by me. But overall, we are very much... Uh, we are well prepared for this fight. Gilgamesh is not, a th not even a threat compared to us. Pawn scores, of course, inflicts Toad. Um, this is pretty much his gimmick now, is he'll try to inflict a bunch of status effects on us. For example, now we have short people. Fortunately for us, we do have Asuna. Which will return people back to their proper size. For... to help us give... imply damage to Gilgamesh. I'll also use an uh, potion. On Krill. So I'm, I'm somewhat pondering whether Spellblade um, gets rid of the hit penalty or if really Gilgamesh is that easy of a target to hit. Because we've hit every time despite being blinded. I think Spellblade um, treats it like a spell somewhat or something. Oh, no specula speculation. Oh no, old. Oh no, if only we had some way to who, get Asuna on Ferris. Time, oh no. This is what I was afraid of. Yeah, just dance. Eventually he'll, um... Oh, God.
Now everyone that can be blinded is blinded. Only takes some damage. High potion yourself up. Really, the thing I'm most frustrated by is the fact that, um... Okay, now I'm frustrated by two things, but... Um, Gilgamesh isn't doing what I'm hoping he would. And, okay, there we go. Now, um, we can... It's such a shame that, um... Any, um... Reflect on him won't be permanent. Would make my job much easier. Now we can um, reflect the Asuna up. Okay. We'll hit someone that needed it. Get to dancing, Krill. Of course, we'll get a tempting tango. Let's try that again. Oh, well, we're not small anymore and we're blind. Heal Krill up. And there's the first miss. And now it's a joke battle. Yes, we have. We're very good. It's very good to fight with you. However, we have, over the course, used up all our high potions pretty much, so I really need to just resist the urge. He died. Fortunately, technically, once Gilgamesh starts talking, the battle is over. Thank God. Um, resisting urge to use items. Yeah, Ferris is also halved. Thank you for including all of the parties. Now we've won this battle. Literally, Gilgamesh cannot do a single thing in this form. Yeah. Fortunately, the battle does not go on to see us utterly humiliate. He did manage to kill Ferris, so I will bring her back to life. Fortunately, she got over the being old.
So yeah, the music changes um, once X stuff starts this. Um, this battle is fairly mu <laughs> pretty scripted. Um, nothing to do but just wait it out. Yeah, we're gonna lose Gilgamesh. Everyone say goodbye. Gilgamesh, I'm sure you're a good man, but you don't really belong here. Okay, that went well. We don't get anything but the Excalibur. The worst physical attack weapon in the game. Um, it's useful for two other, for some other stuff, like throwing it or using Goblin Punch, but almost completely useless beyond that. <laughs> Still has nothing, unfortunately. I really should save. What am I doing? I had to deal with... Oh goody. Nothing like enemies confusing themselves. Thank you for the instant death effect. And he just killed himself. Okay. This game can surprise you. Now uh, we just run. And finally. We'll use up another tent back there. No, not again. Fun Fortunately, it only, ha it only took five seconds. Not even. So yeah, we have 14 high potions and three elixirs to work with. So that's the healing supplies for both um, Ferris and... Um, Krill. If either of them die, then they're out of ways to heal. So now everyone's up to the best shape they can be in. We won't even waste time with the chest. Goodbye. No need to fight him. Yep, this is a hallway. Just to announce that you are there. Um, so... I might as well go over quickly over status, um, our fastest. We all have some decent stuff. Uh, I keep forgetting. Um, Ferris did, does have a better, um, shield to equip, the, the ice shield. And with that, um, Xdef will tell us not to interfere. Oh well, he'll have to live with it. We're meddlesome. Yep, he's telling the truth. He's actually quite smart in that he knows what the world was like. Time to get some drain on. Get some dancing. Um, okay, I'm just going to make a point by casting Libra since we've taken no damage yet. He is not only just level 66, he has 30,000 HP and is vulnerable to holy. Now we do have technically could have gotten holy rods. He'll try to dis um bell um our people's um auto reflect and waste turns that way. Unfortunately, he'll do stuff like that too. Hence why we want to get reflect on him and reflect some protect spell. Okay. That's the attack I'm really afraid of. Mm. Now the good news is that if we can get um, Krill alive, then he, and if he casts level 3 um, Flare, then um, he'll be doing some decent harm to himself. Earthshaker, unfortunately cannot be blocked.
Time to cast Kiriga to heal Bulbor. We need one of his more ineffective ones, um, turns to bring Lena back. I mean, Krill back, unfortunately. Until then, we're stuck in this stalemate. Zombie breath. Um. No clue what just happened there. Um. I don't see any status, so I'm going to assume we're all just fine. Which is good, because this is really... If we are all not fine, then this will kill Bulbor. No need to kill Bulbor, he's already died. Fortunately, we do have a lot of Phoenix Stones, too. He is not taking the bait with the Reflect. Land, yes, he just did. That's a thousand damage down that we didn't even have to do. Fortunately, since we died and then came back to life, now I'm certain Bulbor is not a zombie. Heal thine self. And he's doomed um, Lena. Um, we're going to use a phoenix down on Krill. Row, oh. No clue what 100 G's just did. All I know is dance. Tempting Tango. Um, we'll go in and drop a potion on Krill and then retreat to the back row again. Fortunately, he does spend a lot of turns using the spell when he really doesn't need it. Which is our one of our bigger advantages, is that he'll waste turn after turn on that. Um, we'll have Krill um, use ethers on... Well, no. We'll reserve the elixirs for that. For um, bringing Bulbor back up to speed. Lena will maybe get one more attack in, and then uh, Bulbor's dead. And now Lena's dead. Don't you love mass stuff? And now, Bulbor is dead again. Ferris will keep attacking to heal herself. Krill is dead. Yay. I'd love to be able to get ahead, HP-wise. But he seems hell-bent on um, Vacuum Wave right now. Come on, waste a few of your turns. We're not going to... And Bulbor's dead again. The worst part about it is that if he used a Earthshaker now, we'd be dead. There's no way I can... Oh no, he's just gonna use Doom. Oh well. Deal damage. We'll have Bulbor use Rays on um, Lena. deal more damage and to give more targets 
Eh, doesn't matter. She'll be dead anyway. Soon. But let's try to get, make sure she dies in the right row. I'm white. Okay. Phoenix down. Now we just have to hope he stays alive long enough. No. Looks like XDef knows that if he dies, that if he stays dead, then he's won. And we lost Lena Obuhu. Um, we're going to cast Rays on Ferris now. Ferris will. Oh yeah, that's right. Can only use me. Okay, we've lost. Oh no! Hilariously enough, we got away with it. Um. Phoenix down on Ferris. Ferris will use an elixir on Bulbor. Okay, this may have be savable still. Um, and see, we need blocking like that. I don't know why we weren't getting that. Now, raise um, Lena. Increase the targets. One thing about Berserkers is that they'll still be... Oh, god, yay. We've had it. We have a survive. Either. Okay. So, Bulbor will go ahead and cast Kyrgon. Okay. Yes, he used level 3 Flare. Yep, we may have salvaged this. Granted, we're fighting on the sky. By the edge of, on the edge of our chair, no clue what will happen. And he likes doom. Let's resurrect Krill. To further complicate um, XF's plans, we'll reverse polarity our entire party, which puts Bulbor back in the proper row. So he kind of accomplished a little bit of a help for me. I believe next order of business is Kiraga on oh, no, Lena. Lena now has more H. P to work with. Get back in the proper row. Dance. Dance for your life. Don't dance like that. Do the other dance that you do to dance for your life. Let's heal Krill up just because eh, we can maybe get something accomplished that way. Uh, like surviving an Earthshaker. Which, in my book, is a worthwhile goal. Okay. Um, Bulbor's goal will be to... die, of course. I was going to say the, um, heal um, Lena up to full, but of course, it hit him. Yep, this. And I hope at this point you kind of see why XDef is a bit tricky. He will make it a long fight. And don't even get me started on how bad um, Neo XDef will be. Or any of the um, endgame bosses. They're all going to be tough. I'm going to take a peek with Libra just because... Though we could spend it healing, I would rather know we're almost half at the halfway point. That's good. 
Hmm. Unfortunately, we he is resilient to BO. Otherwise, we would have dealt some more damage. Do a swords dance. Fortunately, he hit himself with a level 3 flare. I do hope he uses that more. Ah! Waste of a spell. Skin edge. Very edge. Vacuum wave. And thunder go. Okay, let's bring back... Ferris from the brink. We'll have um, Krill use a potion on um, Bulbor. Fireaga. Ah. Oh. He knows Bulbor's the key. He knows if he takes out the healing factor, we have no way of surviving. And we've survived. Bulbor will cast Kira Ga against on himself, which will make things somewhat easier. Now, realistically speaking, we should have had him um, use a some yeah whatever. He'll keep attacking us, and. Now that he's gotten more aggressive with his offensive magic, um, in this setup, he has a very little chance of actually doing damage to someone who would be affected. Um, we're going to cast Shell on Bulbor. We're going to try getting defenses up, so... And... She's dead. Don't worry, Bulbor has a plan. Apparently there was something else in that. No clue. All I know is that a phoenix down would be appreciated about now. He gets a Thundaga on Bulbor, which is not enough to kill him, thank god. Krill is going to just go all out and trying to um, heal. Um, let's drop another elixir on Bulbor since we're he's starting to run low on MP. Don't want to run out in the middle of bat. Ah, ah, um. Ferris, attack, Krill, um, do a cautionary high potion to give him some room. He seems to be after um, Bulbor. Fortunately, he keeps hitting him. Um, and Bulbor's dead. Okay. Fortunately, we can somewhat remedy this via... Healing and having Bulbor then cast Shell on himself. And he just took out two people. Okay, let's use a Phoenix down on Lena to um, provide a good meat shield to distract um, X staff with. Because shields. Yeah. Then we'll go and try to bring Bulbor back. Bulbor comes back to life. Will he be able to keep it? Who knows? Um, nope. But XF does make a mistake and hits himself again. Oh, we're going to be so much out of items. I have so little items by the end of this. He uses a day this spell okay vacuum wave acceptable as long as Bulbor and Ferris survive no time to be doing anything but healing 
Oh, I'm betting Bulbar's not. I'm equipping the gold needle. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. We're gonna... Because we need him alive, we're going to just drop the elixir away. We need him to cast shell on himself. Then we'll go in, um... Okay. X Death, fortunately, is very good at killing himself. Um, man, this video has just gotten extended a lot. Um, keep the attack up. Not what we needed, but I'll take it. God, just what does the Libra say? <laughs> Only 2,000 HP left. Okay, we may got this. Um, we'll bring back Lena to increase the chance of him using a spell on um someone with reflect. Okay, Ferris, um, we'll go in, um, oh no, oh, Kira got yourself, Bulbor, you know, it would suck real, so hard to get this close and then die, fortunately, it's pretty much out, um, he Probably can't kill either of us. Um, I'm gonna shut up. I'm going to bring Krill to life. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bring Krill to life. And then I'm gonna weep. Oh god. This could be it. Unless he chooses to use his um, reflectable spells more on Ferris, then... And Ferris is dead. Oh, shoot. Oh, come on, come on, don't... don't die. Great, a double kill. He just had to rub it in. Unless this kills him, I think we're done. Phoenix down on Bulbor. Now, if Bulbor can just get some healing in, um, or not, he'll just die. It's over. Um, I guess tune in next time after I get more leveling, since now there's the next optimal level is um a bit later. So um, thank you all for watching. Next time will be X after real, I promise.